Hello, today we're going to demonstrate how AppSense Application Manager prevents unauthorized executables, including even unknown malware, from executing on a Windows endpoint. With the proliferation of malware variants in the market and new trends towards malware which does not necessarily exploit security flaws in the operating system, but instead targets flaws in the end user applications or by engineering user behavior, the risk to corporate endpoints has never been greater and in the coming months may actually increase. Why? Well, simple. Industry experts have noticed an increasing trend to move away from destructive malware payloads to ransomware, malware that takes what is yours and holds it hostage until a fee is paid. This is particularly troubling for corporations as it can lead to many thousands of corporate documents and resources being held hostage by a third party. Moreover, it no longer requires multiple endpoints to be infected for damage to be done. A single endpoint infection is all that is required. Unless prevented at the point of execution, this can lead to irrecoverable loss. To protect against the unknown, we must first understand the limitations of existing security controls and then proactively protect where they fall short. Reactive security methods are not sufficient in protecting from new, unknown malware. Relying on identifying and quarantining still leaves endpoints open to attack. There is no way to stop the production of malware, but by proactively blocking all that is unknown, it is possible to stop its effects. So let's see how with AppSense Application Manager. Firstly, let's show the problem on Windows XP, and then we'll show how the same problem exists on later versions of Windows, specifically Windows 7. Here we have a Windows XP machine with a zero day malware on the desktop. In this case, that malware is CryptoLocker, which is a ransomware that encrypts documents. Documents not only on the device's hard drive, but this malware also scans all shared drives and locks files that it finds on your corporate network. Firstly, we have given the user administrative privileges so that they can install a perfectly legitimate file, which in this case is the Salesforce Connect for Office plugin. As you can see, they can install this without any issues. And now also we can see here that he has access to his team's share disk, which in this case is his H drive, with many important documents. And of course, he is able to open his documents and spreadsheets without any issues. Now the user executes the crypto lock on malware. And we can see by the Windows processes that he's unfortunately and unknowingly infected. Reactive antivirus and anti-malware, which looks for patterns and matches known code to certain definitions, is unable to detect and prevent the execution of this malware as it is unknown to the vendor and may take days or even weeks to be recognized and for an update of the antivirus definition. But this could be any other unknown executable, either malware or a user-introduced application such as a peer-to-peer -peer client or messenger service. Shortly afterwards, he gets the very unpleasant message saying, pay us or else. So now the malware is in full flow and running on our user's desktop. But again, not only did the malware lock up and encrypt the files in his My Documents, but also the files of his teammates on any shared location that he had access to. Now, if the impact of this single infection was not enough, without knowing of the infection or even being able to stop it. This piece of malware could potentially propagate through the corporate network and take every piece of data that it finds as an encrypted hostage. Now we're going to go through the same steps, but this time on a Windows XP desktop, which has been hardened by AppSense Application Manager. Now what we'll see here first of all is that the user is able to access files within their My Documents drive and also from within their team share as well. Now note that whilst Application Manager blocks this malware from running, the user is still able to function with safe applications such as the Salesforce Connect for Office plugin.
So we can see here that the user is able to install the Connect for Office plugin without any issues at all. And that's because we are familiar with this application and we have allowed this to be introduced into our environment by our users. Now this issue is not just relevant to Windows XP. In fact, it affects every released version of Windows to date. Here, we're going to see the same scenario on Windows 7. The user has been given administrative privileges to install work-related software. In this case, again, it's the Salesforce for Office plugin, which, once more, they can install. So we'll see again that the user is not challenged for any extra credentials because they have the administrative rights to install that software themselves. Now again, the user has their My Documents drive, which they are able to access without any issues. And we'll see a variety of different uh, uh, data objects there that the user is able to open and manipulate. So this could be the user's personal work or it could be years worth of work for a department. We could also see here that the user has access to their H drive as they had done beforehand. Now again, the user executes CryptoLocker and as with Windows XP, we can see the process starting silently in the background. Again, the corporate files of the user and his teammates are now held completely to ransom. So once more, as we can see, all of the documents in the user's My Documents folder. as well as any documents that are held on the user's shared drive are once again blocked from the user being able to access them. So let's look at this again on Windows 7, but this time with Application Manager installed. So once more, the same scenario as XP. So the user does not have admin rights in this instance. Instead, we've specified that they are allowed to download and install the Salesforce plugin for Office. Now, as we can see here, the user still has access to all of their documents, but Application Manager is still blocking that malware executable from running. Absence Application Manager is a centrally deployed enterprise class solution, providing proactive Windows endpoint security that stops all unknown and unauthorized executables. It effectively controls Windows privileges and network access controls. Unknown threats are no longer a problem as it prevents infection rather than attempting to cure it. Absence Application Manager does not need any warning of a new threat to guard against. It doesn't need to identify a piece of malware before it can protect you. So there is no time lag whilst a patch or signature is produced and distributed by your antivirus vendor. So, there we have seen how it's possible to have complete proactive protection from the unknown, whether it is a well-known malware, newly released or tailor-made targeted piece of malware. It will be stopped before it even runs. Absence is an unrivaled install base of several thousand enterprise customers, with customer environments supporting in excess of 100,000 users, with Application Manager installed and protecting endpoints across the world. Absence is a core solution to many of the world's largest computing environments. Many of these are documented in case studies and reference sites. Absence has a portfolio of many organizations across many industries and geographies as shown in these testimonials.
For further information, please visit appsnips.com.